Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for more diamond painting content. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I am here with a post review on my first completed diamond painting kit from 2022. So this kit worked up pretty quickly and it was fun to get a finish pretty quickly uh, as we kicked off this year. So the kit that I have to share with you all today is Haruki from Craft Ease and licensed from the fabulous Sybil Art. Now this piece, along with all of the other artwork that Crafties offers, is legally licensed from the artist. So what that means is that the artist has not only given permission for the use of this of their artwork, in this case Sybil Art has given permission for, for the use of her artwork in diamond painting form, um, but also the artist is being compensated for the use of their artwork. And art theft is unfortunately very common in the diamond painting world and the crafting community in general. So I am all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Now, I do wanna let you know right up front that I am a Crafties affiliate and this kit was actually sent to me for review. Now, what's really important for you to know about any affiliate relationships that I have, which are very, very, very few and far between, I'm very careful and intentional about any companies that I affiliate with, um, is that even if I'm an affiliate for a company, you are still going to get a completely transparent and authentic and honest review for me. You're going to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and at the same time, though, I just want to make sure you know that affiliate relationship is there. So let me go ahead and just give you all of the stats on this kit, as it were. So this is a 30 by 50 centimeter canvas or project. That's the dimensions of the drill field itself. Um, it has a total of 28 colors, including four different special drills. I believe it's four, I'll just double check. <laughs> and uh, this is a poured glue canvas, as in there's poured glue on here, and then the canvas material itself is a little bit on the thinner side, but as you can see here, it's actually, it's laying very, very nicely. It's not wrinkled or having any other issues whatsoever. Um, the drill field was really clear and easy to read. That's very consistent with my experience with Crafties. Um, I thought that the glue was a really nice quality. It was very sticky. I didn't run into, I haven't run into any issues with any diamonds falling off. Um, also, Craft Ease, I feel like, does hand chart these pieces. So especially when you're taking artwork and condensing it down to a smaller size like this, like 30 by 50, it would be very easy for this to look blurry and for the image not to make a whole lot of sense. But if you, I feel like when you look at this, especially, especially when you look at the rendering in her face and of her skin and the blending in there and the very specific and intentional placement of the special drills like these crystals. To me, it seems clear that this is largely, if not entirely, hand charted. And that's one of the things that I love most about Crafties uh, is that is that I can get these snack size, you know, smaller size diamond paintings, but still know that they're going to turn out beautifully. The artwork has been licensed and the price point is good. So um, as far as other details on the canvas, um, the there was quite a bit of color blocking, which is where there are sections that are all the same color. So I was able to use my multi-placer, particularly in her skin, which I was really careful about multi-placing in her skin because when it comes to light drills like these, um, I think it can be kind of obvious when you've multi-placed, there's a fuzzy here, the glue is sticky. <laughs> uh, so I was really intentional about trying to place the drills uh, really centered. It wasn't perfect as you can see uh, but when I was using my multi-placer. I do have a video series. It's a two-part series on multi-placing for perfectionists. If you are curious, I will link it below, but that's that has some suggestions that you might find helpful if you're struggling with multi-placing and having it look the way that you want it to. Uh, taking a closer look at the canvas, I'll show you guys where some of these special drills are. So we have some of the pink crystals and the blue crystals up here in her headband and the pink over here. There are some red ABs in her lips that I love, just a little handful of them. Now, of course, you can probably see in her hair, 
you see, especially over here kind of in the bun and then it's highlighting through some of here, the ones that are kind of reflecting, you can see almost greens and blues and yellows. Um, I call that like an oil slick kind of effect. Those are black ABs. Now, to be honest, black ABs are, I don't know, they're not always my favorite. And in this case, I think that they work okay, um, especially if you pull back and you don't see like the green and blue and yellow as strongly. Um, it's a little fainter in camera and looks more like just a sparkly black in the camera. In person though, I definitely see those yellows and blues and greens. And if I were going to display this or something like that, I would probably pick those off and put back down regular black 310 drills, non-ABs, because I don't know that that particular like color coding works as well for this spot. So that is, to me, in my experience, that's kind of a rare miss on Crafties' part, but that's just, that's a personal preference, you know? If you like the way that it looks, then perfect. But <laughs> otherwise that's, I, I placed all the drills as they were charted. I do actually like, I don't I don't dislike at all the black ABs that are in her eye line though and in her eyebrow. I think those look a little bit, I don't know, less stark, but <laughs> no, I, I do like that. I love the rendering in her face so much. Isn't that so beautiful? The color blending and the really, really, really gorgeous like rendering and exact placement of these drills, I think just translates beautifully. As we keep going down, we have a nice chunk of these pink crystals in this flower, which I love. And then we have quite a lot of the blue crystals highlighting in the folds of her dress. I love, love, love these blue crystals so much. The the extra enhancement drills that have been pre-charted for you, that is also one of my very favorite things about crafties because I'm the kind of person that I'm not terribly creative. Um, I am not one of those people that's that enjoys like trying to pick out like, okay, these are the special drills I wanna get to swap into my canvas and figure out where I wanna place them and everything. No, no, no. I just want a company to have already done the work for me and to tell me, okay, this is where to, to place these drills. This is where we've charted them that we think is going to look the best. And Crafties does that super well. Um, most of their kits seem to come with a couple of crystals and a couple of ABs. Um, at least the kits that I have completed from them and unboxed from them, that has been the case, but it can vary a little bit. So I think if you check the listings on their website of a kit you're looking at buying, it should tell you how many different special drills it comes with. Um, yeah, I thought that the flowers were really beautifully rendered and Crafties does something that I really, really love when companies do. It's a little subtle, but they have, I'm trying to think of a good place to show you an example. Um, they have done some printing on the canvas itself. Actually, you can kind of see here how there's some white printing behind these dark drills. They have done some printing on the canvas that they know is going to show up behind the round drills. Here's another spot here, the, the light uh, colors printed behind those blue and dark and the dark blue drills. And what that does is it has the effect of lending just a little bit more detail to a piece because knowing that you can see those colors behind the diamonds, like I said, it's gonna take a snack size piece that otherwise might look a little bit more pixelated and give it just a bit of a polish. So I do really, really appreciate that. Now, uh, as far as uh, the diamonds themselves go, they're an excellent quality. I use the Cottage Mill stop box system for this kit. Um, I had plenty left over in all of my colors. And I love this color of blue crystal so much that I'm probably going to save it. It's so pretty. And of course the pink crystal as well. And then there were some ABs. Um, but yes, I had plenty, I had more than enough diamonds um, to complete this kit. And then some, and they're a nice quality, so I'll definitely be saving them. Now, something that, um, I didn't necessarily love as much about this kit. And again, this felt a little bit like a rare miss to me um, from Crafties, but the background you can see, especially like here, um, they were going for an overall blended effect with these blues that is mirroring the original artwork as closely as possible. 
Um, but to me, I almost would have liked to see them go through and polish this a little bit more and have it be more of a smooth effect. Um, just because I think that we have this like perfectly rendered subject here, but then the background is, it, it looks a little bit muddy. Like it wasn't as, as carefully hand charted. Um, but here's what I wanna do just for comparison's sake. Um, I'm gonna shift this over to the side and I'm gonna pop up the original artwork from Sybil Art over here so we can do just a little side-by-side -side comparison and you guys can tell me what you think. Um, but overall, I really feel like this translated beautifully and I was really, really happy with um, the, the quality of this kit all around and how Crafties interpreted the original artwork. So you guys, that is Haruki from Crafties. Like I said, they offer um, an increasingly wider uh, variety and uh, selection of licensed diamond painting kits from a few different artists. Now, I always like to mention, if you weren't aware, it is totally possible, and in this case is the case, uh, for artists to have their work licensed with multiple diamond painting companies. So while you may have seen Sybil Arts artwork at another diamond painting company in particular. Um, Crafties is still doing everything above board. Um, the things that I really, really love about Crafties are, like I said, I, I love that they tend to be very budget friendly for a snack size, a smaller size diamond painting kit that I know is going to turn out really beautifully because it's been hand charted. I love that they include different enhancement or special drills and they pre-chart them for you and they're very intentional about where those have been charted and i love that they license the artwork like i said <laughs> so um if you're interested by the way i do have a discount code it's an affiliate discount code uh, down below in the description where you can save i believe it's 20 percent off of your order um if you choose to use it, I may make a small commission. So please, please, please do not feel obligated. Um, I would just say don't pay full price. Sign up for Crafties' email list because they do run sales and send promo codes out that way as well. Um, but if you do choose to use it, thank you in advance. That always goes right back into my channel and I super appreciate it. But overall, I definitely recommend taking a look at Crafties, see what they have to offer, see if any of it uh, appeals to you. I don't think that you will be disappointed at all. And if you're into something like paint by number, they do have a really nice selection of licensed paint by number projects as well, including a lot from Sybil Art. So if you don't see anything that catches your eye right away, be sure to check back because they are trying to add new kits relatively regularly. I want to say like a year ago, they really only had a small handful of diamond painting kits and now they have a couple dozen <laughs> or more. So thank you again to Crafties for sending this over for me to review. I was so excited to get to pick out this kit and to complete it. I knew that I wanted to work on this one right away. So I'm really glad I could share that with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'd be more than happy to answer. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you had the chance to try Crafties before? Uh, does it look like a kit that you might want to give a try now that you've seen it completed? Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe to see more diamond painting content from me. All right, my friends, thanks again for watching. Have a really wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.